Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this easy, fast, and beautiful cowl. Are you ready? All right, the materials that we will be working with today. So I wanted to show you the two different types of yarn that I have made this beautiful cowl out of. And this is the Bernat Mega Bulky. And it shows on the back that it's a jumbo or a size seven yarn, which I thought was actually very interesting because this yarn is practically the exact same thing as this yarn, which is Yarn B Uber Luxe that I like to make this out of, but it's showing that it's a size, oh, it's so tiny, size six, super bulky. So I didn't want to just specify going one size when I make this cowl out of both of these yarns and it turns out practically the exact same. So these are the two brands, the two types of yarn that I personally use and it turns out amazing, beautiful. When the yarn is this thick, it does all the work for you. I use the size U crochet hook. It's very, very large. Um, it works with that giant bulky yarn. You're gonna want scissors to cut off the, the yarn at the very end of the, of the project and fabric glue. Now I've made this project before using just any fabric glue and that was my big mistake. I highly recommend that you find fabric glue that dries clear and dries flexibly because I have used fabric glue that would dry hard and it makes the cowl highly uncomfortable, especially when that hard glue spot scratches your skin. It is no good. So make sure to use the fabric glue with the flexible dry. That way it's invisible and you can't even feel it and you just get to enjoy the amazing feel of the cowl. The Elizabeth cowl requires two skeins of yarn to complete. So let's go ahead and just dive right into this one. Make your slip knot with the end. When using the giant crochet hook, it forces the work to be loose. So it's instantly going to be comfortable. You don't want to use a hook that's smaller than this because then the work is going to get really tight and it won't be as comfortable to wear because then it'll just be really stiff. It'll be a stiff cowl and those aren't comfortable. You want something very loose and comfortable. So you're going to chain 25. One, two, three, four, Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, 23, 24, and 25. Okay, at the 25th, keep all your stitches aligned. Run your thumb right across to make sure that it stays, all the loops stay on the same side. Okay. And the 25th, okay, so after doing the 25th stitch, we're going to slip stitch into that very first chain that we made. So yarn over, pull that through, and through the first one also. And that just connects both ends together to form the circle. So go ahead and chain one. And we're just going to do a half double crochet in each stitch across. So we will have a total of 25 half double crochets. Yarn over, insert hook into the first hole. Yarn over, pull that through. You should have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through all through all three, and that is an HDC or a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next space, pull through, yarn over.
and 25. All right, that was our last half double crochet. And now is the super important part. We want to make sure that the sides of this cowl are all going the same direction. There's no twist because this is where you fix that twist right here after that very first row of half double crochets. So I make sure that they're all straight. Nothing is twisting. Grab my two ends and I'm going to slip stitch in the very top of that first half double crochet. So I find the very first half double crochet, which is right here. See, here's the space that I crocheted in. So the top of it is right there. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and go ahead and slip stitch that one right there. This is the most important row to slip stitch into because we need to establish the the non-twist, right? We need to just establish right away that everything is aligned. From this point on, we are going to work continuously. I am not going to close up each row and then chain. I'm just going to work continuously and I will show you what that looks like and what that means. And because we're going to do that, you may want to choose to use a stitch or a row marker. Uh, they have little plastic row markers that you can buy at the store or if you want to you can simply use a little strip of yarn that you can insert into each row just to indicate okay that was a row and then insert a little strip of yarn in the next row and be like okay that was a row and then we will count a total of 10 rows this cowl is just 10 rows tall so we would chain one here and including the space right here that we slip stitched into we're going to do another half double crochet all the way across yarn over insert that crochet hook yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through all three spots three loops insert two, three, twenty two, twenty three. 24 and 25. Okay, remember I am not going to slip stitch in and chain one. I'm just going to go continuously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to yarn over and go straight into my next row. And that would be one. Okay, and to indicate my rows, I just cut some yarn and I'm going to indicate this right here was my row one and this right here was my row two. And for each row, I'm going to insert this string, another piece of yarn, so that I keep on track and I can stop at row 10. So go ahead and do the same thing. Uh, you can either use yarn. If you have the plastic row markers, you can use those. Uh, anything that you can use to count your rows, if you can just eyeball and see that each one of these little upside down V things is one row. So there's one and then it'll go diagonal. There's two. You can kind of start to see the bunching, bunching, bunching. And this is row one and that's row two. So that's a way to eyeball it if you can do that. Sometimes with a darker color, it's a little more difficult to do that. So 
go ahead and continue on each row it's going to be 25 half double crochets make sure you count that way your cowl doesn't flare out because you added too many and it doesn't start to come in because you or miss some stitches and I will meet you at the end of row 10. Sound good? All right, you got this. See you soon. Oh wait, before I go straight to row 10, I wanted to make sure that I showed you how to connect the two yarns together because it will require two skeins of yarn to complete this cowl. So when you reach row five, the end of row five, you will notice that you are running out of your first skein of yarn. All you have to do is take the end of your second skein of yarn, knot them together. So I give it a bit of a tail. So I'll show you right there. That's how much of a tail I will give. That way I can weave in that end, crochet over that end. I just make a knot, a good size knot. And so when I'm continuing my work with my half double crochets, and I come upon that knot in my work, I will just lay that tail that I allowed myself at the other side of that knot, I will lay it against my work and I will crochet over it. So yarn over, insert into the next space, kind of bring that forward, yarn over the top, And then you'll yarn over and go through all three loops. Do that again, yarn over, insert in the next space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, keep going, yarn over, insert into the next space, keep these tail ends against the work. They're going to want to go all over the place, but you need to make sure they stay right there. That way they get hidden, woven in. Yarn over. All three. And the last one more should hide it completely. Okay, yarn over and there. So then we go back over what I just did. If you give it a little tug, you kind of saw the tail there. So that was the knot. And here is the tail that got completely concealed. It is completely hidden. We cannot see it. Pretty awesome, right? Okay. Now you are on to your second skein of yarn and this, this guy should be able to finish off your cowl, should be able to finish off your project for you. Now I will meet you at the end of row 10. Keep going. You're doing a great job. All right. We have finally made it to row 10 of our amazing cowl and now we're ready to close up this row and to close up our project. So we're going to put a single crochet in this next stitch. I'm basically going to do a downward slope where I'm going to do half double crochet. Here's that last stitch for that row. This is going to be a single crochet and this will be a slip stitch that we're going to tie off and knot. So insert my hook, yarn over, yarn over, go ahead and close that. That's just a single crochet. And in the next space, just a slip stitch. So yarn over and take it straight through. And now we have just a nice tie in. So it's not like an abrupt and cut off. And now you have like this indent <laughs> that's no good. It has a very smooth transition where it flows very well. Okay. So I'm going to grab my scissors. Give yourself, since this yarn is so thick, don't cut off super close. Give it, give it about that much room to cut off and yarn over, 
pulling that straight through so we can tie a knot right there. Now I'm ready to just weave in this end and then I will take my glue to secure it down to make sure that nothing comes unraveled. So from the outside of that same space that we tied the knot in, same space that there was a slip knot in, insert my hook, just pull that through. And the next hole over, I come in from the back, pull that through, just weaving that in. Okay, this will be the last one because I don't need to do that forever. Okay. Okay, so it looks like there is just a little bit extra there. I'll go ahead and because this is all going to get glued down. So if I kind of make it the length of that next space, then when I glue it down, it just, again, becomes invisible. The whole idea is to make everything look invisible because it makes your work look really good. Makes it look professional. So I grab my fabric glue and because this yarn comes apart, a little, like see how it's like already starting to fray a bit. I'm going to pinch it all together and I'm going to put glue all in that spot. Again, this is going to dry clear and it's going to dry flexible, which is fantastic. And then I just put that yarn right over the top and I give it a pinch, push it down. Make sure that all those little pieces have got some glue on them so that way they're all going to stay flat against the work. If you get some glue on your thumb, just rub it and it comes right off. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so that's that one side. Now let's go to the beginning of our work. So this was the very, very beginning of our work. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to weave in that end. So I'm going to take my hook from the outside in. It just pulls that knot. So when I pull it, watch what happens. It just aligns it. It's pretty cool. Okay, insert my hook from the inside out. Weave that in. And I don't think I could make it one more out in. You always want to glue on the inside. You don't want to have the glue on the outside because then you'll see it. You want to make sure the glue stays on the inside. There we go. So again, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut the length of the stitch. So here's the stitch. Cut right there. Get my glue. And I'm going to put the glue all along right there. It's a bit thick. The glue that I'm putting down, it's a lot. It's a bit thick because I have to make sure this whole thing lays down on it. It's a lot of yarn, so I want to make sure that the glue can can cover it. Okay, just pinch it, fiddle with it, work with it, make sure that it stays there. Okay, awesome. So the next part is optional. So when we attached the two yarns together when we brought them together so I'm, I'm turning my work inside out right now sorry <laughs> I'm like doing without talking so I'm turning the work inside out right now when we combined the two yarns together with that knot and then wove in the remaining little bit after the knot sometimes after a person wears this cowl that um, tail will start to come out so if you want to if you want to find that row, so we knew it was right in the middle, it was at row five. So one, two, three, four, five. 
it was somewhere right in, right in here. If you want to, you can go back and you can put a little bit of glue. I won't be able to find it. We wove it in so well. We did such a good job. But if you want to just, if you found it, want to put just a little bit of glue at the end of the tail, not at the beginning where there's a knot, but at the, if you follow it and find the end of the tail, put a little bit of glue in there and just work it in, then that tail will not come unwoven come unwoven from the work it'll stay hidden in its line and because you glued on the inside you won't see it on the outside of the cowl and because you glued with the flexible glue you won't be able to feel it either so that's an option you can choose to do yourself so i'm gonna go ahead and turn it back the outside right and that is our work look how beautiful that thick yarn looks when you crochet it with such a simple stitch the half double crochet it feels so soft it's like butter it's awesome oh, I can't wait to try it on you did a fantastic job look at you I hope you like it too so what do you think these are my favorite cowls in the whole world. They are so soft, so comfortable to wear. They're beautiful. They're fast, easy to make. They're amazing. I have a whole bunch on my Etsy website. If you care to see all the colors that I have made my cowls in, I will include this one on my Etsy website today too if you wanted to get the very cowl that we made today. Otherwise, go ahead and make as many as you want. They're amazing and they're so colorful and they're so beautiful. I really hope that you had a great time crocheting with me today. If you did, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet and would like to, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I had a great time crocheting with you. I really hope you did too. Um, my name is Tiffany Hansen. I will see you next time. Have a great day.